jumping off the porch like mom's not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. Summer nights, love them how they take so long. So we are here in the side, 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 side city, city with our Durfee's chicken tenders after three hours straight of CS class. Some of us. Oh, that's not me. Um, not me anymore. <laughs> uh, but we are gonna do a little college life Q and A. Just talk, chill, answer you guys' questions. You guys had a bunch that you dropped on the message that I put on YouTube. Should we introduce ourselves? Yeah, definitely. My name is Alec. Um, I'm from New York City. I'm a sophomore in Pearson, and I. I'm gonna apply to be an ethics, politics, and economics major. Yeah, okay. So I'm not sure if I'll get in. And we'll see. Is econ the backup? <laughs> econ is not the backup. Poli is the backup. Okay. okay. Um, hi, I'm Carter. I'm a sophomore in Sabre from Long Island, New York. And my major is cognitive science. <laughs> Newly. <laughs> <laughs> if, if she gets in. Yes, also an application major. Really? Mm -hmm. Um, hello. I Tommy, what's some enthusiasm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a Pearson major, CS, hometown Olympia, Washington. You guys know Tommy. He's been, he's been in some. I've heard some videos. Oh, yeah. We've been in videos in passing. Carter's been in a video. And there's a cameo from your last night at Yale last year. Yes. Yes. Yep. What a night. That was a night. Okay. Um. So, all right. First question: How do you balance schoolwork? with social life uh, and without losing your mind? Simple, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> take Honestly, naps, yeah. take naps. I wish I, I No, been... I did not believe in taking naps. I don't believe in taking naps. Tommy, you took a nap this morning, dude. That's because I got like three hours of sleep. I'm still, I'm still running on three and a half hours of sleep. We're going strong. I think that it's about like pretending that your work time is class time. Like being like, hey, these are two hours I spend in the library every Tuesday, Thursday, because I know I have it free. Also, so they're like very regimented. Self-discipline is really important. Yeah. Like if you know you're going out one night, you should probably get all your work done before then, and then convince yourself if you don't get the work done, you're not going out. Yeah. That actually helps. Do you, have, do you do that? I do do that. Wow. I never knew that. <laughs> I just learned a new thing. Interesting. Cool. cool. Things about like cherishing the social time you do have, even like quickly when you're like going to the suite with your friends and like mm -hmm. talking before bed, like counting that as social time to keep you sane. Yeah, you should like definitely incorporate some like social time. Mm -hmm. You can't just be in the library all day long. No. Don't hang out with ass. Don't study with friends. Don't study with Alex. Don't study with Alex. <laughs> I've studied with him like three times and it's have very gotten nothing dust talks all three times. I can't study with other people because he's hot. I get distracted. And then proceed to try and distract the other people. Yeah, exactly. I want to join Yale, but I am only 11. Like, <laughs> or just focus on school. Focus on just focus on school, buddy. Okay? Don't even focus on school. I don't even think I was focusing on school when I was 11. Just become an interesting person. I think that this is the time to do that. Yeah, definitely. That's what Yale wants from you. Mm. A lot of smart people out there. Discover yourself. Mm. Yeah. Never discover it later. <laughs> Multiple times. Like Carter did. <laughs> How accurate is Gilmore Girls? I've never seen it. I've never seen it. My mom watches it. Like, People like to pretend like me and my mom are like the Gilmore Girls because it's like we're the same relationship, uh, but we've never seen it, so. Yeah, maybe we'll binge it with your break. There we go. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I don't know. But then it's our hold, I guess. Do you have any tips for the college application process? Get your essays out as early as you can. Yeah, start early. Because you never know what you have the week it's due. And then you end up hating yourself because you have a lot of work to do or other things to prioritize. Start taking your standardized test junior year. Mm -hmm. Or sophomore year, honestly. You really want to get ahead If you yeah. think <laughs> you can do it. No, yeah, because like, if you start your essays during the summer, then like you won't have to worry about it when you actually have like fall semester of senior yeah. year, which is like kind of important and kind of like really, really busy too. Yeah. So like, fall you won't have time to do college apps. I ended up taking my standardized exams October of my senior year because I just happened to be on vacation or away every single other date that they were offering the exam. So, you know, follow the rules, but also like, don't stress out, you'll be fine. No. What's your, uh, what's your favorite place on campus? Okay. Stacks. So cross campus, between the two Berkeley half courts, there's the walkway going out of Sterling, 
and there's these two pillars that are like kind of like used as a railing, I guess, or something, and they're like platforms, and I love to sit up there and people watch. I pretend to do work, but I'm usually not doing work, but it's just like an optimal location on a nice sunny day when everyone else is out on cross campus. Yeah. It's really nice. But there's only two, so it's kind of unfortunate. You gotta share. Uh, what do you like, Alec? No. I don't know. There's, I don't have like a designated spot I like. I really like this place. It's a great place to work. Nice sofas. Um, otherwise, I just think Yale is generally really beautiful. Yeah. Just lots of water. Yeah. I like the stacks. It's pretty private. Why do you like the stacks? Like <laughs> well, I made a treasure hunt there one day. <laughs> oh, I helped you with that. Remember my treasure I remember that. What did you hide up there? Ooh, there's a pond behind OML Laboratory that's gorgeous. And sometimes in the spring, you can just sit there and do work. There are goldfish, lily pads. I think you do work there now. There are also any it's like hammock on campus. Yeah, like the Silliman hammocks are really solid. Oh, no. Consistent. They are. It's so stubborn, bro. It's not still summer. Well, it's like pretty mm -hmm. much. It's warm. It's so warm. It's a really J.E. dining hall. Mm, Huge plug for J.E. Dining Hall. There's no one there usually, so you can get tons of work done, and they never kick you out. Really? You can just stay for like three meals in the day if you have nothing to do, and I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have say anything. Have done I've done it for a breakfast until like 3 p.m. And I can just consistently get coffee and get shit done. I've eaten at J.E. like twice. No. I eat there every morning. Really? I'm not in J.E., yeah. Yeah, hot breakfast? No. Oh. <laughs> they have some really good watermelon, though. I'll take I don't like hot breakfast. I think it's not worth it. The eggs suck. And I don't need like a meat or pancakes every morning. That's excessive. Like, the egg who wants, on the who wants pasta at nine o'clock in the morning? Okay, they don't do that. It's only a brunch thing. It's only like brunch, bro. No, sometimes they do. They do. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, I'm not get a hot breakfast. Or the other day, Pearson had like breakfast pizza, and I was so confused. That's, that's a treat, bro. It's an attempt. I've been trying to do like an attempt. I would go for breakfast pizza. pizza. It's like the same price. Usually at hot breakfast, they also have like cold breakfast items too. They do. That's true. No, no, the eggs are like more than salad. Really? Yeah. I've never walked yeah. out for breakfast. Just like if you're coming from the gym, whatever. Mm -hmm. But then, like, yeah, yeah when we come, come from, from the gym. gym. Yeah. I have a very important question for the group. Okay. Um, Durfee's tenders versus dining hall tenders on the tender Thursday. Durfee's. I think Durfee's tenders are actually better. Dining hall tenders. It I'm going dining hall all the way. Dying hall tenders are actually fried. These things are just like frozen and then yeah. yeah. These are like microwave. These are softer though. I they, have, they, they have better sauce at Durfee's than they the do. Honey they have the honey mustard in the dining hall is They have all the sauces at the dining hall. I didn't really like honey mustard until I came to the You can get unlimited tenders at the dining hall. Would you want any more than those? Yeah. Yes. yes. What? Yes. I think this is always I could take two of these for sure. I could definitely eat like two of these one half. But they also charge what? Six dollars for like four tenders? I mean also everything at Durfee's is just incredibly overpriced. Except for applesauce. You can get eight for three dollars. I'm gonna have to hit that. <laughs> the other day I got one cup noodle and two vitamin waters and it was like eleven dollars and I was so confused. That's really expensive for three nice. items that are relatively yeah. inexpensive. Let's see. Yeah, that they're keeping market block. A lot of people are curious about social life slash uh -oh. parties slash do people at Yale like actually have fun or are they just too busy studying? We have no fun here. I think we have a lot of fun here. <laughs> much, more fun than, such a lie. much more fun than people do have at Harvard. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And much more fun than people think we have. There's like so many different types of social scenes I think that you can yeah. really yeah. Generally, like, find happiness somewhere. We have a lot of parties that are open to everybody on campus as long as you're yeah. a Yale student or a visiting friend. Yeah, they always just like check IDs and that's the only Necessity to get in most places. There's like no restrictions Super against inclusive. males, and like we're not like sexist towards women, and only letting women into like frat parties most of the most of the time. Like Harvard. And like sweet parties are also a huge thing for like closer groups. My college actually pays a suite to throw parties. A suite that you're in. A suite that I'm in. So yeah, there's like a lot of opportunities. I think even if you want like a chill night at home with your friends, or to like go out to frats. Just know that the social scene at Yale is better than Harvard. I think we'd all agree though. Maybe that's a result of the administration at Yale versus the administration at Harvard, but... <laughs> I also think it's a result of people. 
I, I think it's partially administration though, because they want they know that it's going to happen anyway, so they're like, oh, we'll facilitate it to make it safe. Yeah, no, that's good. It's totally administration. Uh, it also is the type of person that comes to the school. The Harvard kids come here from Harvard Yale, and they're like, wow, yeah, yeah it's they're, great. They're, they're very open, <laughs> mm-hmm. very accepting of people, and also if like if somebody gets like too sick, there's like no like repercussions or no punishment if you call like, the hospital or the ambulance and come pick them up. Yeah. It's a very good policy. It makes everything super safe and you never have to like like even though you're, you're technically like in the middle like in the middle of a like pretty easy sized city, like you never like have safety concerns, I would say. Mm-hmm. Uh, you definitely have to deal with the townies every once in a while. They're like great <laughs> <laughs> people. Yeah. People. No, yes. a lot of the new heavy locals are great. But they're great. Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> We'll cut that one out. <laughs> last last oh, week, this is so weird. last week I was standing outside of um, a party at a house, and some random stranger comes up to me, com- clearly just out of his mind, a little whether intoxicated or just deranged. <laughs> <in general. laughs> like, comes up to me and calls me his husband. He wouldn't give up either because yeah. I was talking to a girl. I was talking and, uh, to, and it was so like on a girl. He's like, "This is my husband." <laughs> Why are you talking to my husband? That's what he said to me, and I was quite confused because he's not my type. <laughs> also, I am not married. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I'm glad you made For all the viewers out there who are interested, Alec is not married. He's single. single. He's single and looking for people. Mm-mm. Not actively looking, but you know, you something comes my way. It was, okay. <laughs> he's deleted all dating apps. Yeah. Making big steps. Big steps. Yeah, don't have a Tinder either. It's Ooh. weird. Sometimes you have awkward with interactions. Sometimes you match with someone you see down the street, and then I made some good friends actually. It's awkward because then you see them, and like if you mess up to it first, I think it could be interesting and fun. It could be, yeah. And then just like laugh. But Yale's like it. a pretty small school. It's hard to like hide. You might sit next to them in like section or something, and that yeah. would really yeah. suck. Yeah, depends pretty, on the context. Very hard to hide. Yeah. Yeah, but rumors and gossip spread like wildfire. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Yeah. Also, I feel like as, as long as you know like someone in every single residential college, you practically know everyone like in mm-hmm. undergrad class, which is actually wild. Yeah, it's very comfortable though. It's like high school. It's debatable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not yeah. not at Alex High School. <laughs> oh yeah. True. Look at that. Maybe yeah. our high schools. We know we're like normal. I'm normal. Well, like, you're like we're like a nor- normal classic public school. You're like a. High end. You went to public school, right? Yeah. yeah. All of us are public yeah. schools. Oh. Actually, everyone here is from public school. You went to Stuyvesant, so it's like high end. Let's take a test to go to your public school. Yeah. My, my school was test only, but public school nonetheless. There we go. Okay. Credit for credit. Here's one. What what does a typical conversation at Yale look like? <laughs> um, hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, outside of Tommy's suite. Let's get a meal. <laughs> Stash? Anyone? <laughs> Conversations at Yale are just normal conversations. Yeah, there's no like, you count. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's some people at Yale who like to have very like, philosophical conversations. I don't know if I, I wouldn't know. say that's the norm, though. It's yeah, they said there's I think everyone hits that people. at some point. Yeah, especially when they're in DS. But we, yeah. <laughs> but we it's like a, no conversation. a sub. Yeah, a subset of Depends on the people you're talking to. I will openly talk about the Kardashians for like 10 minutes, and that's totally fine. That's a critical conversation, though. Yeah. It is. They're great. I think they're great. They're very intelligent. Mm, business people here. <laughs> I think that they've definitely taken their situation and ran with it and did all they got famous on the sex tape. And but then she proceeded to make an entire career. She yeah. is American royalty. No, that not. family is American. That's royalty. also like the American dream. They're not American royalty. <laughs> they are totally no, American. Are I'm totally I, with this. No, they're not. The fact that all of America has bought into their fame really says something. They totally I, just like manipulated American culture and our values. How many seasons of keeping up with the Kardashians have they had? I don't know. I don't watch it. Still making money. A lot. They're still making a they're lot of money. money. Kim Kardashian well, had a best-selling book with photos of her face. Nothing else. No.